Um, oh yeah, we've got all this stuff happening, and get to tie in with the whole Drake album. There's um, there's a whole bevy of events happening in the next couple of weeks or so. Obviously, um, what, what's that, what's that place called? Playa? What's it called? Uh, Pop Poble Español in Barcelona. This little square where everyone does these amazing events, right? Um, I should get up on the other screen. Um, it's absolutely incredible the site and a lot of kind of housey type events happen there um mostly let's say dance music type of events happen there and at the moment there's an event happening with innovisions there was an event happening with kind of music um two labels set up in berlin that predominantly push house music i'm actually surprised they haven't done a collaborative night actually kind of music and innovation there hasn't been a collaborative sort of like showcase between the two of them maybe because it's each other's competition i'm not really too sure but i think in terms of taste in terms of fan bases they're quite different i would imagine kind of music is a little younger in terms of the people that they attract a little bit more hipster whereas innovation is probably a little bit more grown up chin stroking type people like myself do you know what i mean but in general this pop this poble espanol venue is absolutely incredible it's supposed to be meant to be a museum they host it all in the center in this little square um so it's, it's basically so what do you call it a, a pavilion is it a pavilion whatever you call it right where you've got this massive square in the middle all these buildings facing it classic looking and just imagine how incredible this must be for local tourism as well right they must get an influx of tourists coming in booking up airbnbs and hotels eating at their restaurants and bars and shit so you know in places like these they basically the backbone of it is you know tourism and all that good stuff so without it um it must be bleak so the fact that this has turned into like a yearly affair during kind of sono and all that stuff is absolutely incredible and at the moment they've got one going on with um kind of music that looks absolutely great i went to play a couple of clips from courtesy of um ramper from kind of music's uh, instagram profile and it looks so so fun um this is the kind of stuff that gives me fomo like legit you know like good times good vibes people out um open air sort of events this is the stuff that i get fomo from for the most part less so than the kind of nightclub types things because i guess here in london i'm kind of spoiled for that and there's so many different options and for the most part nightclubs have been a little bit dead since the pandemic has kind of quelled or the restrictions have kind of quelled but this looks really really fun this open air stuff It's maybe a little bit funny, optics-wise, looking at it, seeing so many Caucasian-looking people dancing to this um, African-inspired house music. But, you know, you have to kind of get over that over a period of time. But it is quite magical to look at in terms of square, how this produced, the sound, the scenery. It's proper, proper Instagram-ready as well in terms of just how it's laid out and how they do the production and everything around it. I, I, one other slight snip picking i'm not really a fan of the whole like free djs that gathering around the decks at the same time but you know they're a crew they're a collective they're a group of friends close friends brothers or whatever maybe family quote unquote so i guess it's not really that much of a big deal but it does feel a little bit pretentious a little bit too try hard but hey what do i know like that's like proper like everyone wants to be main character do you know what i mean in the in the, in the scene you know what i mean they all want to be in the frame but again, you know, I'm nitpicking a little bit, but this looks fucking fun. I'm not going to lie. Mm -hmm. Next clip. Of course, on the outside. Right? Look how fun that looks. And that's one of the things I think doesn't get... Oh, by the way, it was a Circo Loco um, off sonar event. That's one of the things I don't think um, gets spoken about highly enough when it comes to festivals like Primavera and stuff that I obviously went to a couple of years in a row and missed out on this year because it looked a little bit crazy and stuff, whatever it may be. But for the most part, 
it's so why the why those festivals are so good and so amazing is primarily i'm gonna say primarily let's say 70 percent to do with the location barcelona is an incredible incredible place for festivals i still say oddly enough i'm a weird guy like that i still say i prefer madrid over barcelona as a city to visit but i think in terms of having a festival type experience or to go out and party and whatnot for a weekend a week i think there's no other better place to go than barcelona like you know the sun the beaches if you want to go to them um the way the beer tastes over there um the flipping um the food is incredible the people um because obviously for the most part especially during the summer it turns into basically a tourist city people are ready and willing to basically welcome you to open arms they're really ready and willing to open to welcome your business and your commerce and stuff they're prepared for it they treat you accordingly well like it's just a great place set up is perfectly to kind kind of welcome tourists in that regard and i really 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 fucking love it um and i think again like these sort of parties and events like all you need to do is basically figure out the location in that great country to go and put your party at and by the, for the most part if you get the production if you get the sound done you basically got yourself a guaranteed banger of an event Look at that view. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, seeing them dance like this, this music is a little bit cringe, but still, it looks fun. <laughs> but yeah, big up um, kind of music, big up Ramper, big up Adam Poor, big up and me doing the damn thing and who knows maybe the Drake album is going to be the reason why people are going to be checking out this type of music again um it'll be interesting to see because like i've mentioned previously i think in terms of general public reception no in terms of general public tech house is probably the most maybe maybe only second to edm it's probably the most um successful dance music genre at the moment that regular folk listen to like normies but if if it can flip it on its head, this album and turn and kind of comp if, if if we can get a position where house and atmospheric house and stuff is at the same level as tech house, that'd be incredible because tech house is fucking dominating. Those guys like Michael Bibby and all those type of dudes, they are selling out places like you know print works and stuff on a regular when they do their label showcases and whatnot. But if it can turn into a thing where suddenly atmospheric house becomes like the you know the second biggest flipping genre in dance music it'll be incredible to see don't get me wrong adam you know kind of music aren't some dummies you know what i mean they've already got some big corporate um sponsorships and relationships on deck already i'm sure that gta thing didn't help um helps as well in terms of their appeal and how they got out there and whatnot but it, let's see man you never know what the drake effect can do on these type of things it might go absolutely dummy after this going forward i think yeah this last slide was pretty sick as well this on them in the chicken shop <laughs> that's super hilarious but yeah big up everybody that went and intended i cannot wait to be going to lost in the moment which is happening what 9th of july that i'm going to right um that's happening 9th of july i really 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 looking forward to that um so if you're in the uk and you are you want to have a taste of what that sound is all about then i do recommend checking out this event here which i have on screen lost in the moment united kingdom featuring armin dixon avalon emerson chloe Callet, dj holographic uh car god jansen hi jenny cara jimmy jules and tricks manola tough and nick castle playing at tough man on the 9th of july absolutely incredible lineup there's still tickets available now so make sure you jump on them if you haven't already make sure you jump on them